my beautiful peeps, it's Natasha coming at you with another video. So I've got you all up in close and personal because I figured we could do a chit chatty get ready with me with some of, um, um, and give you some ideas for some summer essentials or some summer go-tos uh, for makeup. So, um, I'm very into um, pops of color on my eyes in the summer. Um, and very bronzy looks. Um, I am pretty pale and um, working inside all the time. I don't necessarily get um, enough sun exposure. Not that sun exposure is good, but just even that natural little bit of sun kiss on there. Um, I do like my freckles, so I don't like to cover them up too, too much. Um, and especially in the summer, I don't know, freckles. I don't know, I think they're cute. So what I do like to do is um, use a BB cream. Um, I do prefer more of a dewy look in the summer and the one that I really like is from Rimmel. This is their BB cream but this is their matte. Um, and what I like to do when I have a product that I want to like, change up a little bit or I want to utilize, like I have a, almost a full thing of this. Um, so if I'm not using it again till winter, well that's sitting there for a long time. So. What I'm going to do is, you can either blend in a little bit of like a liquid bronzer or a liquid highlighter or illuminator, that kind of thing. Um, NYX has some great ones, so does L'Oreal, and you can get higher up there with some of the high-end brands that make some fantastic um, liquid highlighters and bronzers. Um, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to mix in a drop of my Julep What Your Skin Needs Restorative Facial Milk. You can also use a beauty oil, and that will give you a really nice effect as well. So I'm going to put this with a drop of this, we'll see how it looks on my hand and then if I'm not liking it then I'll probably even add a drop of liquid bronzer as well, we'll see. Just like I said, I'm very uh, fair, <laughs> like translucent fair, um, and I do tend, my skin tends to go a little bit on the yellowy side, uh, so we don't like to do too much liquid bronzer all over, um, but I will if I need to warm up my face. Now if you want to, you could totally use um, your hands for this, especially when you're using a BB cream and like facial milk. You could totally go in with your fingers or a brush or however you want to do it. If you got a kabuki, you got your beauty blender, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to dab it on. Now if you have naturally oily skin, you definitely want to take it a little bit easy on the beauty oils and stuff. Use one that absorbs well so that way you're not adding more to your skin. Um, or go with a liquid bronzer or highlighter and that way um, you're not making your skin even more oily. So I'm just using a flat um, kabuki style brush. I find that this is really good at um, not absorbing too much of the product because the brushes are so thin, um, so flat. Like I have a couple other foundation brushes that I love, but I find that they take up a lot of the product, um, and that's okay, depending on what kind of look you're going for. So I just want to really just buff, buff it out. <laughs> oh, Natasha. I feel like you're gonna see a lot of my hair pull back in the future videos because um, my hair is like naturally very frizzy and with all the dyeing I've been doing to it, it uh, does not help. I need a mirror. I need a mirror. I'm calling out to a mirror in the morning light. It's gotta be good. No. I'll stop, I'm sorry. So what that did for me is just give me a very sheer kind of coverage, but even doubt any of the redness or spots on my face. On my face! <laughs> I haven't filmed in a while and I'm sick, so I'm feeling a little silly. And I know, I know I'm always sick, but I have children and you understand. All right, so um, to brighten up my under eye, to get rid of kind of that tired looking -ness. I'm going to go in with the CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous and I'm in the color Fair. I'm 
I'm just going to apply it under the eye and bring it down. I think things are falling down all around me. I, when, when I'm using my concealer, I also like to use it as a eyeshadow base as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight under my brow bone. And then when I'm blending it out in any areas where I want to highlight. One thing I will say about this um, particular... <laughs> I just stick it up my nose. This particular um, concealer is it does set or it does dry down pretty quick so you want to go on and blend it and this I believe it's like real techniques I think there's nothing on it but it's a uh, kind of like a stipple brush I like a dense brush to buff out my concealer my preference so I just got a new subscription box and I hope I get it before the Canada Post strike happens if it happens um, it's from, I don't know if you guys have heard about it, it's Soul Theory. All my subscription boxes so far have been food based or um, beauty and um, I found them on Instagram and they're sunglasses uh, and then you could also have a subscription box that has sunglasses and accessories and we can kind of customize so it's really cool. And so we were talking on Instagram and they even gave me a coupon code for any of my subscribers. So I will leave all that information down in the box for you. Um, so I purchased one of their subscription services myself to try out. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get it for you. I even got one for my husband because they have sunglasses for men as well. So I'm hoping I get that soon so I can show you guys. Um, but I love their Instagram is like amazing. Um, I got some beautiful sunglasses. I can't wait to see what I get. So once that's all buffed out and even looking, you all good. And I'm going to use um, my shade and light, my eyeshadow palette from Kat Von D. And I'm going to use the like kind of almost banana shade kind of the light one here. And I think that's the neutral quad. And just a really nice, uh, I got this from Ipsy, I believe. This is from Me, 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 and it's their powder brush. So I'm just going to lightly dab on some of that banana type shade powder under my eyes. On top of my eyelid as well, because um, don't forget, I use my concealer on, on my eyeballs. And then anywhere I put that concealer. My watch is telling me to stand up, and I'm going to tell it no. I'm a rebel like that. You guys know I'm badass, right? <laughs> I laugh at myself. Alright, so... Um, I'm going to do the upper eye very simple, because I'm going to want the focus on my under eye. I really like adding bright pops of color on my lower lash line. Um, it's a really easy way, especially when you're um, starting out, like kind of experimenting with color, to um, introduce bright pops of color to your look. So, with a fluffy blending brush, if I don't throw it across the room, I really need to clean my brushes badly. That might be a next video. Um, I'm going to use... Probably from the warm tone section I'm going to go with. Let's do with it. Let's do it. So the top color and the warm quad. So it's like a peachy. If you have like peach sorbet from Makeup Geek or any other matte toned peach, matte peach toned shadow, I'm just giving it. Um, I'm putting it just quickly, just very messy, very quick because it is close to my skin tone. Um, just in the crease and that's going to help transition the other colors I'm going to use. I'm going to use a smaller, more tapered blending brush. This little guy here. Both of these brushes I've been using are from Lexi. Love their brushes. And then I'm going to use more of the, um, I don't want to say it's orange. It's kind of like, I don't know, that color. So it's like a brown, but it's got like a maroon kind of 
You know how I am with explaining colors. It's not my strong suit. <laughs> so I always have my brush off because Kat Von D mattes are beautiful. They blend like a dream, but they do kick up quite a bit of powder. So I'm just going to put it in my crease and then I'm going to use a circular motion once I'm working on my outer corners, my inner corner, my outer corner. Just to really make sure it's buffed and blended really nice. Just to give some definition. So during a circular motion, I find it can help if you, especially if you don't have the best of blending brushes or, you know, um, you're having a hard time blending it out. Doing that circular motion while you're while you're doing the windshield wiper, wiper motion just really helps make sure everything's blended and you don't have that skipping line at all. Um, and it just gives for more of a seamless kind of look, I find. And then I'm going to take, um, this is normally like the highlighting shade in that quad, um, but I'm actually going to put it all over my lid. I have like, I just want to be like singing, want to do karaoke with me? Girl, you know it's true. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, 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 I love you. It'll be makeup, <laughs> YouTube karaoke instead of carpool karaoke. Eh? Eh? It's a new thing. I'm going to put that all over my lid on both sides. The lighting's really weird. We got a storm rolling in right now, and I'm like trying to make sure I get the best light, but it's not mine to cooperate. And I'm gonna use that same flat brush that I used, um, and I'm gonna take the brown, another warm tone brown color um, from that same quad from Kat Von D palette, and I'm going to put it on my outer part of my lid, the outer V of my lid. And just slowly tap it on and apply it to where you want it. I'm starting at the lower part of my lash line and then working up to my crease because I don't necessarily want this, it's going to end up in my crease, but I don't necessarily want the focused color of it to be on my crease. And then as I'm working it up, I'm also bringing it close more onto my lid. So going from the lash line up into my crease and then bringing it over until about the midpoint of my eye. So once you have the amount of darkness that you want on your eye, then I want to go with more of a matte kind of foiled, not matte, kind of like a foiled gold kind of shade. But when I thought about this look and I thought about like a gold, I have this bronzer from Hikari which I got in um, my Ipsy bag a couple months back and there's these two really metallic kind of foil colors in this quad. So when I was thinking about this kind of bronzy um, look, uh, I was thinking this might be a really good one to use. So I'm going to use more of the gold out of the two. There's one that's more a bit of a copper, one more of a bit of a gold. And with my finger, I'm going to tap that onto the center of my lip. You could also use like a gold highlighter if you want or any kind of gold foiled um, or a bronzer if you have a really nice shimmery bronzer you want to use. And then I'm just going to pack it on, blending it with the other shadow. making sure the transition between the colors is nice and blended. And then when you have them at the same point, good, just the middle part, and I'm just going to use my blending brush again, just to make sure that I didn't get like a little crazy on my lines and everything's blended nice and even. Now in the Kat Von D quad, in the 
neutral section, I'm not giving you the finger, I'm going to use the lightest color for my inner corner and to highlight my brow bone. So again, I'm going to use my finger and then you can use a brush after if you want to blend it out. So I'm just going to place that where I want it on my brow. And if you get too carried away like I just did, you can go back in with the brush that you had your initial color with and just pushing up push the color up and then so your brow is not so cray cray. So I'm doing my inner corner and then pulling it. And you could do this again with a brush or a, a Q-tip. And then once you have that section exactly how you want it, perfect. So. For the pop of color that I was talking about, I'm going to use by uh, Color Revolu Revolution. This is their um, like loose powder eyeshadow and it says double date number six. I got this in my Benelovit Beauty Box um, and what I like about this is that it really is true to color. What you see in the pot is what you're going to get on your eyes um, and it does wear incredibly well for bright, bright color. Usually it doesn't, it wears out or gets patchy, doesn't last as long as some like um, neutral or mattes. Um, but this, this one, he's a pro. So if you want, you can tap a little bit out onto your lid. It does have a sifter in it, so that's nice. Not much came out into my lid, so I'm actually gonna go right into the pot. You're just gonna have to be careful because you can make a mess. <laughs> like I just did, okay. So I'm dabbing a flat eyeliner brush and I'm going to tap off because I don't want like blueberry all over my face. That's what this reminds me of by the way, that's why I said blueberry, blueberry all over my face. I don't want that, no I don't. Okay. Then you can bring it down as much as you want to give you as much of a pop of color as you would like. I feel like I'm probably going to go in and add a little bit more to my inner corner for a highlight. And then once you have them even and looking the way you want, you can finish off your eye. Now, uh, I think I'm going to add a little more. I'm not really liking the matte light color on the inner corner and that's all good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to use my NYX highlighting palette later my face but what I'm gonna do for right now is I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna use the um, the lightest shade in here and with the same finger I used to do it before I'm gonna go over that just focusing on the inner corner and then bringing it down to blend to my blue and then on my upper um, lash I'm going to pull it into but sticking closer to the lash line so you can even close your eye like I'm doing and pull it and then woo, nice and bright so once you have it blended where you want to make the blue pop even more I'm going to use a white liner on my lower water line um, and this is from Essence, this is the Kaja pencil in white. It's gonna make it's gonna help with tired eyes and redness and stuff as well. It's also gonna make that blue pop even more. So I like to do my mascara last, I know I'm a weirdo because I find I don't like to use shadows on my, I don't really like to use the shadows or anything on my face after I've put my mascara because I find, I don't know, if stuff gets in it and then it looks weird and then I have weird rules. Anyways, so I like to do my face because sometimes I find when I put my my cheeks on and all that kind of stuff, um, I find that maybe my eyes don't necessarily balance out as well as I'd like them to. So by doing my mascara last, I kind of find that I can make any adjustments before I put that on. Make sense? You, you do you, girl. So my favorite bronzer so far this summer is from Annabelle and they are Canadian company. This is their Biggie bronzer um, and it's a Biggie, <laughs> Biggie Zebra bronzing powder. 
doesn't have a color so I'm assuming this is the only one but it's got really nice lines in it I just give a little swirl so you get it but this is a huge pan I think this retails for around ten dollars maybe less than that um, normally but I got this 50% off so I think I got this for like five or six dollars so um, it's awesome and it is half an ounce 0.54 of an ounce so what I like to do with this I've done it both ways I've gone in with a contour brush if I want a really sharp bronzing a shop bronzing but I also like to use a fluffy powder brush um, and just kind of do it all over warm-up of the skin and that's what I'm gonna do today Give it a little swirl see it there but it blends beautifully and then I like to bring it up to where I would put a little bit of my blush and then with what the little bit that I have left I'll do my my cheekbone and then I just dab a little bit on either side of my nose again I'm not contouring I just want to look sun-kissed this brush is from Ollie and Oliver I think it is my name's written off on it but I got this from Winners so now that I'm all bronzed up my favorite go-to um, powder brushes and I say that particularly because I, I have when I'm not wearing a foundation I like to lean more to the cream or liquid um, or stick blushes but if I have a full face and I'm doing bronzer I'm doing all that kind of stuff then I like to go with a powder um, I definitely go more to the peachy orange kind of corally tones in the summer um, so this one is from Makeup Geek and this is Romance so I'm actually using the same fluffy brush that I used for my bronzer, trying to minimize the amount of brushes that we're using. I'm going to dab onto that. And then starting from my cheeks, my where you would smile. My smile goes, like, I've got big cheeks. So if I started down here, my blush would end up down here. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so I like to start kind of, my cheekbones are pretty high. So start around there and then pull back. And then blend it kind of down a little bit into where my bronzer was so you're nice and blended. Now, if you wanted to use the same brush to do your highlight, your bronzing, and your blush, you absolutely can. My recommendation would be to start with your lightest color and go to your darkest. So if you're gonna do a nice gold toned highlight, do that first highlight wherever you want to highlight your face then go to your I would say your bronze next because you can mix a bit of a bronzy color into your blush whereas you might not necessarily want to have a bit of your blush color in where your bronze is so if you want to use the same brush for your highlight your bronzing and your blush because um, you don't have a ton of brushes and you want to be conservative with your brush using it's absolutely fantastic I would recommend doing your highlight first um, doing your bronzer next and then going in with your blush over top um, and that will also make sure everything's nice and blended for you so um i'm going to use a really nice big um blush brush actually for my highlight and this is from eco tools you can get this i think at walmart and shoppers and stuff in canada and i'm going to use this highlight shade here in the next palette um i want to say it is like a peachy tone champagne color I'm gonna go with the side of the blush brush and then do it like that to highlight and then I bring the highlight down to my blush as well and make sure I don't have a strip that's nice and blended and then I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose my lip In. and then I like to go over my brow kind of like lift highlight that area and kind of lift then sometimes if I feel like I'm missing something where I did my highlight for my brow or I don't feel it's blended out I'll just do a quick tap into whatever highlighter I'm using close my eye and then do a quick kind of like stroke over And then if you feel like you don't have enough highlight on your nose, you can just take your fingertip if you'd like, 
and just dab a little bit on the end. And you can even do that with your cupid's bow to give you that extra glue. Okay, so I'm gonna do my mascara. I've got my Go Big mascara from Julep. I love it. So now that I did my upper and lower lashes, I'm gonna do my lipstick. Oh, I don't know which to do. I grabbed three. So um, I grabbed three too because with this particular look, it's just a very bronzy look. But um, other than the blue, there's not really a definitive color. So you really could go with a peach, you could go with a coral, you could go with a nude lip, you could go dark. So I grabbed a couple different types of lipsticks. Um, for me in the summer, I mean, I love a liquid matte lipstick for sure, but for me in the summer, I like to take advantage and have like, um, lipsticks and glosses and, um, a more comfortable lip, I'll say. Um, I'm really into glosses right now. I didn't pull a gloss because I felt like this look could use a lipstick. So, um, one color that I grabbed is from ColourPop and this is the color hype girl this is a matte but it is not like a liquid so I find it to be very comfortable and then I also grabbed uh, Tarte their lip surgeons in the color wonderful which is like a pinky red I want to say and then a whole other color spectrum this is from uh, red apple girls I got this also in vanilla and beauty box this is the color gypsy soul one of their lipstick this is like a deep brown those are the three colors. Hmm. Hmm. So I had a um, a subscriber, Alessandra. She uh, contacted me on Twitter asking about different tips and stuff for um, and, um, like a big presentation she was doing for makeup and all that kind of stuff. So we've been chatting back and forth on uh, Twitter most of the morning. And um, so I just sent her a picture, asking her what color she thinks I should pick. See if she answers. She might be shopping. She's going to Sephora to get some stuff. <laughs> I should definitely not be encouraging Amy to shop. I have a serious shopping issue. So I got some mascara on my bow. Oh wait, wait, I'm gonna do a little bit of brow maintenance because I have not done my brows. All right, maybe I'll give you all three options. Let's see how we look. Because it seems like everybody, everybody has a different opinion. All right, which I know everybody has a different opinion. You know what I'm talking about. All right, so this is Hype Girl by ColourPop. This is the uh, color Wonder from Tarte, their Lip Surgeon. And then this is the color Gypsy Soul by Red Apple Girls. So that very like brown 90s kind of look. That is it, my peeps. A chit chatty kind of fun uh, tips and tricks kind of video with three different lip looks for this um, makeup look. See me in the background. Um, so just something simple and fun. Um, when you're not talking through it, this look is really easy to achieve and as you can see it goes well with a lot of different looks even though you have the pop of color underneath your eye you can pair it with a lot of different stuff um, so this is kind of uh, the look I've been really going to this summer so far um, just a really bronzed kind of fresh looking sun-kissed face um, with little pops of color here and there or a very neutral eye and a bold lip however you want to do it, but having lots of fun with makeup and expressing yourself and exploring is always the best way to go. So, um, as always, if you have any comments, questions, recommendations, suggestions down below, if you have any videos you'd like to see, um, please let me know. And if you follow me on social media and you have a question, 
or you want a suggestion or recommendation, whatever, uh, reach out to me. You can find me on Instagram, on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, I'm on here on YouTube. You can find me, I'm sure you can. Um, and I've got all my stuff linked below anyways. So I hope you have a fantastic day. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you're in the know for all my new videos. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.